because I find that she likes the most or whatever. So there's really no sense at this point of making this guy say sorry if you're not going to accept his apology. There's no point of trying to make this guy feel more bad than what he is when you guys are already making him lose business. So I'm going to be blatantly honest. Anything for any other minority but black people. You're only focusing on one race, and there's numerous races that you need to be worried about. Like, what are you doing for Mexicans? Like, I need to know. You want me to support you? I need to know what you're gonna do for my people, not just yours. And I really don't. I'm gonna be okay. So y'all just heard that very blasphemous statement from this woman who has not been identified at this point. I don't really care because of what she said. Now you can't, now it wasn't messed up on my end. It was real choppy on her end. And that's why it felt like it was breaks in between what she was saying, but I'm going to try to my best to break down what she was saying, even though most of you probably have seen this commentary by the time this video gets uploaded. But I, um, Play this audio from Therese Page and actually Seiji Hito actually did a commentary about it. So this random Mexican woman, I'm guessing she's responding to what happened at that nail shop. And if you don't know, the Asian store owner for that shop recently issued an apology, quote unquote, an apology. Not that I don't not that I think that's a genuine apology. I think he just said that because of all the backlash that he and his shop has received and many black people are not feeling that apology as you know as, as they rightfully should they're not agreeing that this apology it don't mean shit it's not genuine and i believe she's responding to it and she's basically saying on um, this guy's trying to apologize why are you treating him like this and all this that and the third first off this is none of your business this has nothing to do with you nothing to do with you then she had the nerve to say that we care too much about black people. Uh, last I checked, we are supposed to put ourselves first. Doesn't, isn't that what every other group does? Put their selves first before everybody else, or at least that's what's supposed to happen. See, this is what happens. A lot of people, not only in the establishment, but in the world have become so accustomed to black people literally being the lap dog and the mule for every other group of people that we always put ourselves dead last or sometimes don't put ourselves at all. But the minute that we start speaking up for ourselves and doing for self, everybody has a goddamn problem with it like this woman in this video like nothing she said in here made any type of sense she just inserted herself into a situation that had nothing to do with her and just felt like talking shit maybe she was seeking the attention i don't know but then she had the even bigger nerve to go even further and to say that there are other minorities here why don't you care about them and then got even more specific and said why don't we or what have we done for Mexican people? I didn't know that it was written down somewhere or that there was a blood oath given by a black person that said we had to do a goddamn thing for Mexicans. Unless there's something out there in the universe that we don't know. Because I don't remember some treaty being signed saying we had to do something for Mexicans. And by the way, what exactly are we supposed to be doing for the Mexican community? Somebody explain that to me. I wish he was right here. What are we supposed to be doing for you exactly? Most of you hate our guts. Most of you come over here looking for that American dream. You know you can't get that through us. You got to go through another route. And many of you have done that and wish you could be palm colored. Some of you have assimilated so bad that you have convinced yourself that you are. You only come to us for certain things and that's about it. So I would like to know what exactly are black people supposed to be doing for you? Like, really? I mean, the entitlement is real. We've been, to be honest, we've done quite a bit for you, way more than we should have, in my honest opinion. But the buck stops here. It's actually been ended. You can hold your own cojones. Because ice is on that ass. Like, what, what do you want us to do? 
we've already done enough it is time high time that we do for self and if that means that we got to be selfish so fucking be it you can go and do whatever it is that you got to do we going to focus on us because the more we focus on every other group of people the more we can't get our shit together which means we can't get our shit accomplished we are in the midst of trying to save ourselves here and we cannot do that when there are other people trying to bring their problems to us as if we are therapists we are not therapists we are not paid by the clock you cannot lay or sit on lounge on my couch we literally are doing for ourselves we are trying to collectively get on code and the more people like this woman here tries to interject herself into it the more off code we will get but this is us pushing a back pushing back against her or people like her at least myself anyway and a few others so she can take this entitlement things thinking that we got to do something for her and go the fuck on somewhere and find another sucker that will meet her needs and her wants or whatever and deal with them. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.